kasi shinkaru is the power in the name of Jesus Christ. They my doing signs and wonders. She you want it so fast. Come to my ministry now, now. Sharp, sharp. It's that ministry, but I am. Disciples of Antichrist everywhere. Magicians in the church everywhere. Disciples of Antichrist everywhere. Native doctors speaking tongues everywhere, everywhere. Native doctors speaking tongues in the church everywhere. Disciples of Antichrist everywhere. So God, man of God, of these days. Everywhere. Hey. Maskila. Hey. Boski. Oli Boski Maskila. Maskila. Hey, young lady, come back here. And why are you going to dress like this? By the way, what is that on your ankle? Mother, I'm going to visit a friend. You're going to visit a friend? And you're dressed like this? Eh? What did I say about Wednesday evenings? Oh, come on, mother. I've told you over and over again that I'm not carved up. Will you shut up? Now go in there and get dressed for fellowship. But, mom, how can you? I. I. Mom. I said go in there and get dressed for fellowship. Why are you always doing this? this. What's this? Hey! Jesus Christ. What is this? My own daughter. Huh? Okay. In the name of Jesus, yeah. who can battle with our God? Who can battle with our God? Who can battle with our God? I say, nobody. Who can battle with our God? Who can battle with our God? Who can battle with our God? I say, nobody. Who can battle with our God? Who can battle with our God? Who can battle with a God? I say nobody. Who can battle with a God? Who can battle with a God? Who can battle with a God? I say nobody. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's begin to pray. Where are you off to? Mama, the service is over. This is deliverance and it's for the prayer warriors. I am not a prayer warrior. My daughter, can't you exercise a little more patience? In the next five, ten minutes, everything will have been over. Eh? Mama, wait for you outside, okay? Huh.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Just left. I guess she's sitting outside. She's outside. Yes, Pastor. Call her for me. Okay, Pastor. Because... Father, we thank you because you are the most high yes, God. Yes, Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. The Spirit of the Lord just ministered to me that you must bring your daughter for deliverance. Okay, Pastor. It's very important. Yes, Pastor. I'll it's do that. Okay, okay Pastor. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are so here. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Why can't you just let me be? I will not let you be. I will not let you be. Look, mother, I don't think I've been possessed by any demons or whatever name you call I am not contesting that. I am not contesting that at all. But you must be in church on Sunday. Pastor Jude, the Holy Spirit ministered to him. <laughs> we all heard about it. You must be in church on Sunday, whether you like it or not. Mother, look, whether I'm in church or not is inconsequential, okay? The pivot here is that I'm holding fine. I said I know all that, too. I know all that. We must be in church on Sunday. Anyway, I shall see to that.
get the water. Give her to drink. Drink! Drink! And be made whole. You have been initiated into my kingdom. Baptized, and you shall be called my curse. Haggis, you summoned me. Great goddess. I've found favor in you, Haggis. And I have a reward for you. This shall be your jewel. To love, to care for, and to reproduce with. For it is written, go into the world and multiply. She shall be your wife. <laughs> Thank you, great goddess. <laughs> Sing, my queens. Sing. Harry, come on, come in, man. Bob, you remember you not telling me about the project you pursue? You mean the, uh, the orphanage project? Yeah. Well, uh, we haven't been able to achieve much, you know. It's slightly capital intensive, and. But, but yes, I must agree, I see a little light at the end of the tunnel. It's okay. Pissing it out together. Well, I must admit that it's not been easy for him. I see less of him these days, which is really affecting our relationship. But I'm not complaining. I'm fine. Honey, not now. Why are you saying all that? Did I complain? No. Did I say anything bad? Uh, if I did, I'm sorry. You. Project comes and project goes. After them, both of you will have enough time to enjoy yourselves. Just be calm. I hope so. I know so. Okay. Ah, enough for the stock, sir. So, what may I offer you? Nothing. I, I'm alright. Nothing? I mean, this is the first time you've been in this house. You have to take something I insist. So, what may I offer you? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. First time. Anything you want to do. Okay, I'll be right back, alright? Uh, she's pretty, but she's she lacks manners. What's in a woman that doesn't have manners? She only pretends to be good when she sees my friends around. She like, you know, she's nothing, man. Girl, fine. Don't tell your eyes empty now. Come off it. Um, beauty without manners. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Plead my cause, O oh Lord. 
with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and rise for my help. Draw the spear and javelin against my pursuers. Say to my soul, I am your deliverance. Father Lord, you answer the prayer of the prophets. Answer my prayer in the name of Jesus. Answer my prayer, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You're a very nice man, and I'm so lucky to have you. As lucky as the word lucky can be, <laughs> honey. I just want to thank you for the pair of shoes you bought me. It's so beautiful. I know it might have cost you a lot of money, it's nothing. <laughs> These are the list of things I want to buy. I mean, they're all in this list. Everything I'll be needing are here, so I think you should go through it. Oh my god. Gold wristwatch. 50,000 naira. 10 pairs of jeans and tops. 120,000 naira. Huh? Jewelries. 150,000 naira. Honey, oh, this is about 100. This is about 300,000 naira. This is too much. It's too much. I mean, how can you say it's too much? If you love me, then it's not too much. I do, but. But what? I mean, okay, okay, listen, listen. I'll review this. By thirty thousand naira, okay? It's still too much. How do you mean thirty thousand? What can that do? I mean, it's heavy. It's huge. You're not serious, oh? No, you're, you're not serious. Then what are you here? If, what, are, what are you doing here? If you're, if you're my fiance, if you can't take care of me, you're here to take care of me. You're saying it's too much. I don't, I don't understand you again. What's meaning of that? Uh -uh. Everything is too much. It's too much. It's too much. Please. Uh -uh. I can't even ask for something as a girl. I can't buy I can't buy shoes, I can't buy bag, I can't buy trinkets, I can't buy jewelry, it's too much nonsense. Lillian. Lillian. What? Yes? Okay, okay, I I'll I'll think about it. You had better think about it. You had better think about it. Because it's very important to me. All these things on this is are very important. Uh -uh. As you must have been informed, James, our village in recent times has experienced series of deaths, human and animal. Famine, pestilence, hunger has become another name for Umuago. I don't know where you are heading to. <coughs> and what has all that got to do with me? A hey, lot, James. Your late grandfather was the custodian of Bumba, the gods of Alan. So, so, at the demise of your grandfather, the elders consulted the gods, and we are told that Ogumba is angry, having been neglected for so long a time. And on further inquiry, we are informed that the mantle of custodianship, the mantle of priesthood, falls on you. <laughs> James, for so long, we've been calling and begging you to come back home and take your rightful position. Yet, you refused. 
You must be joking. This is no joke, James. This is the statue of Ugumba. Since you have refused to come back to the village to worship Ugumba, the elders mandated us to bring her here to forestall for the deaths in the village. Now listen, I am a Christian, a true worshipper of the living God, and I will not bow down and worship any idol or craven image without being immodest. Carry this idol and leave my house now. James! Carry this thing and leave my house now. We are leaving. But Okumba remains. Boy! Come back and carry this thing. Come back and carry this thing. Come back and carry that idol. See, there's no way that thing will be in my house. If you are living, you go and carry it now. James! If you are living there, I'll come in and throw it. James! You can do whatever you love with it! We'll be done with you! Okay, fine. The time that dances together does not want to... No, 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 we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Throw it away now. Look at you. Last time. You craven image, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Pastor! Pastor! Uh, uh, Roger! Pastor! 
what are you wanting as if something is after you? Something is after me, Pastor. Something is after me. So, what is it? A demon is after me, Pastor. A demon? A demon. Excuse me. A demon is after me, Pastor. How can you say a demon is after you? A demon is after it's me. It's okay, it's okay. Calm down. Let's go here. Go here and sit down. How can a demon be after you? Brother <laughs> James. Going to? Office, of course. Office? Yeah. You're going to the office? Yes, baby. When it's 270,000 naira, I requested for my shopping. Oh, honey. Remember, I, I told you to give me a little time, okay? I'm kind of broke at the moment. You time? see? Yes. Did I hear you say time? I should give you time. I spent two days in your house waiting for some chicken change. I need to go back to my house today, so please give me the money. Do you know something, Lillian? I'm sick and tired of your incessant demands every time you come visiting me. And I advise you to pedal on these issues, or else you'll cost you what? You quit the relationship? Go on, you mean nothing, you just say it! Yes, I'll quit the relationship. <laughs> you must be joking. You must be out of your mind. After giving you two years of my life, you just want to live like that? You must be out of your mind, okay? Just give me the money and let me get out of here. Nonsense. I'm waiting, be fast. Do you know something? What? She irritates me. And right now, I'm over and done with this relationship. You can just go to her and burn to her for like that. You must give the money today. You must! You want to go to the office? I can see you're going insane. Don't try that one. I'm serious. I'm serious. I need money for shopping. Look at me. I'm just wearing all clothes. I need just money. Just allow me. Will that be? Ah! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's the problem I'm facing now. The worst of it is that the idol is now tormenting me. Um, Brother James, it is well. You see, the word of God tells us that no weapon fashioned against his children will prosper. Prayer is the key. Go home and pray. You will be delivered. Call upon his name and you will be delivered. Pastor, I can't go back to that house. I'm afraid. I can't go back. Rogers, do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. I know. I know that the Lord is with me. Yes, I know. But let me stay here with you for now, Pastor. I can only go back to that house if you will come with me. Uh, you say I have an assignment uh, uh, that I am going to attend today. And uh, I can only be free uh, uh, tomorrow in the evening. I'll wait here, Pastor. I'll wait here. If you say so, um, uh, make yourself comfortable. Thank uh, you, Pastor. Have you eaten? Food is not my problem now. It's okay, Brother James. Come with me. Let me show you where to lay your head. Goodbye. You know something? You're leaving right now. Now, out of my house. Get out. Listen, you will have to kill me first, okay? You have to kill me before I leave this house. Then you have to kill me. Then be ready to die. Because <laughs> I will, I will show you to death. I kill me now. You better be ready to die. You will kill me. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wound you. I'm going to beat you. Um, Pop, are you are you sure that you want me to leave your house? You are asking me to leave your house, right? Not just go. I want you to leave my life alone forever. Ever! You want me out of your life? Yes. You must be out of your mind. Do you know something? I don't want you to ever start this house again. Because if you ever do, 
I will surprise you. Listen. I'm going to show you how naughty I could be. Get out! Just get out! Get out! I'm done! I can't wait for anything! Just get out of my house! What am I paying for? Are you a prostitute? You spell it out and you're a prostitute and I don't pay for, for what I do to you! Also! <clears throat> hey, madam. My son, Mike, I've seen a rose flower in your house, which he wants to pluck. We are here as required to assist him in blocking that rose with these items. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank, Thank you me. very much. I really appreciate the fact that you will find it worthy for a rose to be plucked in my house. Well, let me ask, is the rose aware that she's about to be plucked? Yes, madam. Actually, she advised me to come and see you first. Ah. Yes, and that is why we're here. Very well then. Let me call her. Sandra! Sandra! Do you know this young man? Yes, sir. You do? Okay, you can leave. <sighs> okay, I've heard you people. Uh, well, you know my husband is no more. Therefore, I have to consult her uncles. So I will advise that you people come back in a week's time so as to meet with her uncles. Is that okay? It's all right, madam. No problems. Uh, madam, but you can keep this. All this? All this? Ah. Ah, thank so you very thank much. You very much thank you very much. But you know, our custom does not permit me as a woman to accept such items. Really, I know. So long as we're coming back next week, it makes no sense carrying it up and down. So you have to keep it till when we come back next week. Okay. So I'll keep it for you people, eh? Thank you very much. So like I said, we will come back in a week's time. We must definitely come. Okay. And I've consulted with our uncles. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, okay. Mike. Let me see you. Thank for us. My lord and love. That man outside has come for your hands in marriage. Yes, my lord. <laughs> You cannot get married to any human. You belong to me, and to me alone. But my lord, I'm human, and I need to get married. If I don't do that, people might begin to ask questions. I shall decide that. As for him, I will teach him a lesson he will never forget. <laughs> Pineapple. Musa, do you recognize that it's Lydia you're standing outside? Okay, you tell him for me, say, make you not allow him for anybody at all at all for this one. No, no, no. 
What do you want? I said, what do you want? Boss, did you tell Musa not to allow me into your house? Yes. You did, right? That was my specific instruction. <sighs> really? So you want to dump me after using me, right? Excuse me? Listen, a woman should be well-behaved and submissive. And you know you're not. Please leave or you make me do something that I, I really don't want to do now. Strike right? me? You want to strike me, right? Come on, strike me, what? <laughs> you go ahead and strike you're, me. You're holding my jacket. You what? Excuse me, leave me alone. Come on. You dare me too much. <sighs> okay. I will leave, okay? But I'll be back. I'll be right back. I wanted the kind of man that wants to marry you. He needs an armor chest. When you come back, I'll teach you what I should do now. Listen to me, Musa. If you ever let this lady into my house again, God knows I will steal you alive. How did she come in here anyway? How did you let her into the compound? Open the gates. Okay, say it's on record. Uh huh. Bye. Who are you? I am Hagos. Hagos. From the underworld. How can I help you? What is that? Hmm. So you think you can collect my wife from me? Your wife? Sandra. Sandra. Mike. You must die. 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 Macaris? Yes, great boy. I'm aware that mortal suitors seek your hand in marriage. Yes. You are beautiful. You are expected to come. But your souls shall be mine. Planted the evil seed in your womb. Yes. You shall increase in your word. Yes. And I shall increase the demons of seduction in triple fold. At your service, great one. Sing. Sing to my glory. What do you do? What do you do? Jesus' name. Amen. Please, you make yourselves comfortable. 
while I go upstairs and I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Okay. I am a fervent viewer of your television program. Oh, I see. And I must admit that I've been encouraged spiritually. It is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our sight. I hope to be like you in future. <laughs> <laughs> and that the good Lord grant you your heart's desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother James? Yes? And please come upstairs. Excuse me, sir. What did you do? Did you hear him? Yeah. He wants to be like me. Surely he'll be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Musa! 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 I'm going out now. My mother is coming from the village. I want you to let her in, okay? Musa! Musa! Except my mother, don't let anybody in. It wasn't your fault. No, it's my fault. I was on the phone. I mean, I shouldn't be doing that in the public. Um, anyways, let's stop apportioning blames. My name is Bob. I'm Sandra. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Uh, Sandra? I was wondering, um, did you come with a car? No, I actually came in a taxi. Fine. Uh, what if I ride you home? I mean, take you home in my ride. Well, that'd be nice of you, but seriously, don't bother. Okay? I'm not complaining. Just, uh, it would be an honor to drive with you. I thought you were going in there to get something. Yeah, not to worry, just an item. I can always come back. Huh? Don't worry, I'll help you. I'll help you. Come on. Hello, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, one to the hand.
It's really been nice talking with you. Okay. Um, so we'll see tomorrow at the park then. Okay. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're cute yourself. <laughs> so. Let me help you, just sure. fine.
So, this is where all these pastors get their powers. Hey! And we have been following them. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Huh? What are you looking for here? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Let's sit down. Okay. Welcome once again. Thank you. So what do I offer you? Nothing. I'm okay. Seriously. <laughs> I won't take nothing. You take something. I mean, this is your first time in my place and you can't take nothing. Okay. You take something. I'll get you something, okay? Okay. All right. I'll be back. All right. Then. Just whatever, okay? Yeah, whatever. Right. Okay. There comes a time in the life of a man when he should realize that life is not all about what he thinks or sees. The fight for spiritual powers, fame and riches is not as easy as you think. You see, what is important is the miracle you perform in the name of God and the blessings. But Pastor, no, no. It's against the commandment of God to worship graven image. We do not worship any graven image. All we do is to use the power of Shinkara to perform miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. So many great men of God use different kinds of powers. You can serve God and use another power 
to perform miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Think about it. I, 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 I come to you and, and wash it, and wash it. Forever. Forever. Forever! You say, speak whatever you seek, and it shall be yours. I, I seek power to establish a church and perform miracles, signs and wonders, and riches beyond human imagination. You shall receive the power you desire. What? On what condition? Huh? You shall give me a virgin girl every year as sacrifice. Uh, 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 sacrifice! Okay. 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 Okay.
Honestly, that's her. That's Leanne. Naggy, materialistic, soul demanding, and most of all, she lacks good manners. Honestly. But you see, all women are the same. Imperfect. You cannot find a single woman in this world that is perfect. Yeah. So is that why you dumped her? Because she was imperfect? How can I be so sure that you will not do the same thing to me? Listen. I know nobody's perfect, especially the women folks. But you and Lillian are well apart. You're like two parallel, you're like parallel lines. You can never meet, you know. You're what you can never be. And that's why I love you. Now, I've been doing all the talking and it's showtime now. Tell me, what's your story like? Oh, you wanna know? Everything. The you, the background, family, the virtues, whatever. Well, there's really nothing intriguing about my life. Um, my story is basically an everyday situation, sort of. My mother had me when she was in London. My father's Scottish. He's a white man, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where's your dad now? He's dead. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm so, so, so sorry. It's okay. He died in a ghastly car accident. I still miss him, though. Sorry. It's all right. But anyways, my mother later got married to my stepfather, who's actually the father of my stepbrothers. And that's the reason why they actually dark complexioned and light complexioned. And then when she got married, we all had to relocate back to Nigeria. Mm. Destiny? You can say that. It could be destiny. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> I am so happy that we're together. I love you. Yeah, lipstick. This? No, it's lickable. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> can go to hell, I don't care. You sure you want to settle down with my daughter? Yes, ma'am. I, I love your daughter so much. I guess she's my missing weight. And you have prayed about it? I'm sure your daughter is my wife. I love him so much. Love. Hmm. If you refuse to heed to my warnings, then you leave me with no choice. Please, my lord, please don't think about hurting him. Then listen to me. I will marry him. I want to marry him. <laughs> then you cite his death. Hmm. I'm not too damn it. Okay. I've heard from you. Let me also hear from my daughter. Sandra! Sandra! This young man here came to ask for your hand in marriage. I'm sure both of you have discussed about it. Do you accept him or not? Yes, I do. You do? Well, you guys have my blessing then. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mama. 
appreciate. Um, I'll have to run off now. Now I'll, I'll call my family very soon so we can perform the necessary marriage rites. That's okay. I'll be waiting. All right then. Thank you. We'll see you later. Okay. Bye. So you yeah, have a nice day. Okay. I didn't know you could do that. Well, for real, I told you I was an athlete. You know, I, I was the best in my school days and the first runner up in the university games, you know, some 12 years back, you know, still smoky, you know. <laughs> well, he sounds just like my father. He was the best in his school. Mm. I'm sure your father was the best in his class as well. But you see, the funny thing is, there's really no one around to ask for the real truth. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Come on, honey. I do believe you. I'm just being skeptical. Yeah. Skeptical what? <laughs> Give me. I'm, no, I'm ticklish. Come on. I'm ticklish. Come on, stop it. I'm ticklish. Stop it. I'm, I'm ticklish. Stop it. Stop it. Bravo, bravo, bravo. <laughs> so, this is the rat that has been deceiving you, right? I knew that you were dancing to our unseen drama. So dear, how what may I do for you? I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh sorry. Bad manners. 
My name is Lillian. <laughs> well, I can see that the brat lacks manners. Very bad manners. <laughs> um, before I start, can you majestically walk out of my boyfriend's house? Oh, I'm sorry, my fiance's house. Are you out of your mind? Excuse me, love. Let me handle this. It's love? Did I just hear you say love? <gasps> Lillian, get out. I said get out! If you want me out, you have to throw me out. Since that has become your recent profession. Oh, thanks for the compliment, okay? But all the same, I want you out now. <laughs> Deaf ears. Get out. 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 Get. Just get. Get out. You send me out of the help of this brat? Lillian, get out. <sighs> Must be time to get Get out. What is this? What is this? Hoshi. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. Lillian, I told you about her. She's she's my ex. Well, I should have taught her a little bit of good attitude and modesty. Well, like we were saying before the devil came in to unleash the dragon, okay. my reflexes are very sharp. <laughs> Hello, are you still talking to me? I don't like what just happened. Pastor James, I want to tell you something now that you are part of us. And that is that the journey before you is not an easy one. Yes, the race is not an easy one. You desire to have money, to be rich beyond human imagination. You intend to have a life before life of congregation. All that is achievable. But you must do the necessary things first. Your Worship, I am ready to do anything, my spiritual fathers. But first of all, you must swear to an oath before the temple of Shinkaro, the ancient one. Who will then give you all the powers to acquire everything you need in your life. So many of us belong to the brotherhood of Shikaru, who in his infinite mercy made us what we all are today. Pastor James, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's then go into our dressing room, then into the temple of Shinkaru. Gentlemen, in the name of Jesus Christ, in my doing signs and wonders, she want it so fast. Come to my ministry now, now, sharp, sharp. Hey, Shinkaru! Shinkaru! Samparoma! Great Shinkaru! Samparoma! James. Drink! For when you drink, you shall fast no more.
tell this. It is the staff of your office. Keep it by the side of your seat in the church. This is the symbol of purity. It shall unite the Holy Spirit and the members, and it shall perform miracles if used in any circumstance. Great Shinkaru!
Conclude the prayers in my bedroom. Pastor. Uh oh. -uh. into your head. It is over between us. I'm never gonna date you. Okay? Stop it! Come on! Come on! What do you wanna do? Okay, now, let me open the door. Do, let me see what you can do. What you mean this? What's wrong with you, Lillian? Are you stupid? Huh? Look, get out of my house and don't ever step here. Leave my house and leave my woman alone. So she is a cause. I'll be back, alright? I will be back. Definitely. And we'll see who dances best. Can you dance? What kind of dance can you do? Hip hop? I don't be reggae? Do you do break dancing? Huh? You see? You see? You see what you're making me do to you? you see what you're doing to yourself? Stop. You pushed me. You pushed me, William. What's it in you? You pushed me. It's okay, girl. What's wrong with you? Now get out. Get out. So get, get, get out. Are you right? It's not over. It is not over you. Now I tell you, it's over. I tell you, it's over, right? You can't even do my dance step, can you? Yeah. Don't ever come this way.
Are you okay, baby? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. But you have to do something about her next time. Definitely. I hope she didn't hurt you. No, I'm fine. Okay, let's get him. Now you know, so I, I, I just need to transfer to Lagos. Oh my god! Look at Lily! Oh, it's so nice to see you! Oh my god! Where are you going to? Well, I'm going down the street to see a friend. Really? Yes. Is it really important? Not really. So, can we just go have lunch somewhere? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that's nice! Let's go, let's go. Is this your car? Well, this is what I'm managing for now, you know. Yeah. Come right in here. After all the love promises you made to me at school. I didn't run away in the end. I got a job so I had to leave. Without notice. You just left like that. After all the everlasting promises of love and marriage. That's not fair. No, 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 Lily. Come on. You knew where to be found when I was leaving. And it all happened so fast. Perhaps Providence had brought us together, you know. So what do you think? What do you mean by that? What I mean. Was the single? How about you? Yeah, I'm still single. <laughs> yes, I've not brought myself to date any other guy after you just left like that. Really? Yes. So let's say Destiny has brought us together. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, she said that um you're a banker? Yeah, actually I'm one of the tops. That's interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm still searching for a job. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you'll find one someday, okay? I and the exact so. one that fits you. I hope so. <sighs> so you know you know something? I I really miss you. Yes, I really, really miss you. you when you just left like that, just abandoned me and just left like that so. So, what have you been up to? How many girls have you dated so far? Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> okay, always be honest with you. Yes, be very honest. I actually tried one, but I can be no one like you. Oh, that's nice. You're the best. <laughs> okay, if you say so. I really miss you too, girl. I miss you. Everything, the way you call on me, tell me stories. <laughs> it's nice. You're just a nutty man. <laughs> you said something about a restaurant, right? Yeah, yeah, girls have There's one, one down the street here, but I think we should go to that one. It's so beautiful, you like the interior and all. Okay, let's yeah. try that. Let's try so, how have you been enjoying Lagos? When did you get here? I really do love you, baby. Seriously. 
And I cannot wait to have you all to myself. I love you too. And I know very soon we'll be pronounced man and woman and living together as husband and wife forever. Yes, and I can't wait for that day. I remember the first time you were in my bedroom, you said you loved it. Yeah, the bedroom is beautiful. I really do love it. Hmm. Can we have a little ride in my room? Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? Why do you bother my peace? Good goddess. My heart bleeds for my jewel has betrayed me. Will not Haggis. For she is mortal. And like every mortal, will find herself husband in the world. You have the right to do whatever you so desire. I will summon her. You can now leave. Thank you, great goddess. Sandra, the of sleep is this one now. Huh? Kingsley, what is it? What's the problem? <laughs> is that the Sandra? I betrayed to make her up, but she seems to be in slumber like a dead dog. <coughs> but your sister does not sleep that deep. You can go and check her for yourself. Make sure she's alright. No, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. I reject it. I reject it. Hey! It cannot be. Hey, my daughter. My daughter. No, no, no. Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me now? Hey! Why are you crying? Mama, hey God, what is my testimony? God, why can't you treat me like this? I reject it. It cannot be my daughter. My only daughter. No, 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 God, no. No, 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 no. It's not for me. Hey. <laughs> you cannot put me to shame, God. <laughs> Brother Benga, please, Brother Benga. Uh, uh, but please, the pastor, is still there with you? Uh, I'll, be, I'll be trying his life. Brother Benga is, is my daughter. Sandra. My daughter, are, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you alright? Are you sure? Yeah. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Are you sure you're okay? What's, what's the problem? You got me scared. scared. You got all of us scared. Are you sure you're okay, my daughter? Are you sure? Eh? What did I do? What did hey, God! God, I thank you! I know you will not put me to shame. Hey! God, I give you praise. For the love, I thank you! Are you sure you're okay? Mom, you're confusing me. What's going get on? Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Eh? No, nothing is wrong with you, eh? No. Eh? Are you sure? Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. Hey, why do you got me scared? You got all of us scared. Go! 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 Say, go! 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 Oh, why did you win this go now? Why? Eh. So this is why I've been calling you boys since I'm not, I'm not like you answered. Eh? You're here watching football and left me alone in the kitchen to do everything. Oh! <laughs> Bob! Good evening. You're welcome. Good, Good evening. Afternoon. Please Good evening, sit down, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, guys? <laughs> uh, Mama, how about Sandra? Oh, Sandra, I sent her to get me some groceries at the shop. But I guess we should be on our way now. All right then. Um, in that case, I'll, I'll just wait a little bit. Okay. Actually, I was I had something on fire. Okay. Mm? Mom, who is this uncle? Oh, this is Uncle Bob, your sister's husband to be. Welcome, Uncle. Welcome, Uncle. Thank you. And Bob, my boys. For real? Yeah. This is Kingsley and Martins. All right. Uh, guys, I heard so much about you guys, especially you, Kinsley. <laughs> um, well, so, how do you do? How do you do? Nice, nice. How do you do, man? How do you do? Nice, nice, nice. So, Bob, make yourself comfortable. I'll soon be back, eh? Hey? All right, ma'am. Oh, good. Is it clear to get married to a Yes. Uncle, can you tell us what you're going to be doing with her? You see, um, Martin, I don't think you should bother yourself about that now. Okay, for now, be less bothered. By the time you're all grown up like uncle, you know, your big boy, then you know what, what uncle will be doing with auntie, okay? All right? Hey, boys. You two, come here. All right, I'll see you again, okay? Leave uncle to have some peace, eh? Okay. Um, let me get something for you to cool off. Oh, sorry, man. Uh, honestly, I should be on my way now. I was actually on my way somewhere, and I decided to stop by to see my girl. But I'll show you back. Ah, this soon? Sorry, ma'am. Are you sure you don't want anything? I'm sure. Okay. Uh, please, ma'am, will you just let me see my boys for the last time before I leave? Oh, okay. And um, Martin, thank you. My uncle wants to leave. Hey man. Guys, I'm leaving, okay? 
Uh, I'll see some other time, okay? Now, take this. Buy whatever you want with it, okay? Exactly. All right. Now, why don't you guys send me off to the car? Why bother now? No, we don't worry. Yeah. 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 Boys. Thank you very yeah. much. All right. And boys, what will you say to him? Thank you, and you. Thank you for thanking me. Let's okay. go, man. Eh? Right, so, right, right. Okay. Please make sure you come and meet me in the kitchen. Eh? I'm waiting. Okay. Well, bye. Bye, ma. Bye, ma. Hey, Bob, how about a new wife? She's fine now. Huh? Very fine. You, you're lucky. You know, you're very lucky to marry such a very beautiful woman. I can say that again. <laughs> uh, are you jealous? Oh, man, it's five minutes past working hours. I've got to rush home now, you know. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's what men married to a very pretty lady does. Run home at every slightest opportunity to see their wives. Come on, man, I have no option, you know. I wish I could spend the whole day in her arms, you know. Sleep, wake up, lie in her arms, you know. Such a beautiful lady. But the thing is, you have to work to earn a living. No work, no food for a lazy man, you know. So we gotta work. Uh, you wanna come with me? No, no. I have an appointment in the next 30 minutes. Alright, and I'm already running late. Wow. Not again. Honey. You're really taking this issue further than necessary. I mean, look at me. I'm not bothered, honey. I'm not bothered. Come on. Let's go and sleep. Come on, let's go and sleep. Sleep? Did I just hear you say sleep? Oh, sweetheart. Sleep is a hopeless wish. You must have begun to linger that I am dying. Oh, Honey, it's been three years, three years, and I'm still. Shh. to all this religious bullshit. A friend of mine have been persuading me to seek assistance from a man of God. He actually recommended a pastor. He said his firebrand, power pack, if I may quote him. I think we should give him a trial. It's about time. You know, God is the giver of children. I believe that God is a giver of children. I pray that, and I wish that He doesn't fail us. No, He won't fail us. Don't do this to yourself, okay? Come on, please. Let's go to bed, honey. Okay? Come on, baby. give me your hand, okay? Give me your hand, please. Come on. That's more like it. Let's go. Please come. 
Maria Kaba Zinganda Eke Prosukun Beleye Meskila Oriboska Oriboska Meskila The Spirit of the Almighty just ministered to me now that some dark evil forces tied the womb of your wife so she can't conceive and bear your children. But today, all spells shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Woman, you must begin a three-day prayer and fasting. At the end of it, you come here for your deliverance. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Absolutely. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now listen, Lillian. I shall give you whatever life can offer. <laughs> Lillian, I shall give you money, power, mention it, whatever you need, and it shall be yours. Do you understand? Pastor, this will amount to adultery. And you know that it's against the will of God. And it's a sin in his sight. Remember I'm a married woman. Married? <laughs> but he will never find out. He will never. Pastor, if my husband finds out, my marriage will be in jeopardy. He will never find out. I will see to it. Okay? I'll see to it. Lillian, you have everything a man needs. And I equally have everything a woman needs. Now listen, I'll give you money. I'll give you children. I'll even make you great. Think about it. Just think about it. <laughs> Pastor, I'm, I'm really scared, okay? I'm, I'm so scared. You don't need to be scared. You don't need to be scared. Don't forget I'm a great man. <laughs> so, can we go out for lunch? Okay, okay, I understand what you mean. I'll call my secretary to organize something for us here in the office. How about that? Ah, uh, Kate? Kate? Yeah, I just come to my office immediately. Fine woman. <laughs> Pastor James, you see, I want her. And I will do anything just to have fun. Then, what are you waiting for? I have just one problem. The husband and this adultery thing. <laughs> adultery? What if she's widowed? Will that amount to adultery? No. Or will there be any marriage? Are you implying that I destroy him? Is if you want his wife. Soonest, he'll be traveling on a public transport, and that will be your opportunity. What about the other passengers? 
Pastor James. You bother so much. Faith! In not to anybody who decides to want to balance with him. Do not tell me you've not thought about that. I never did. <laughs> then you should. If you really want the woman. Well, I've had it. Thank you for your advice. I want to leave now. I want to go to the church. I'll see you in the evening. Stay last. You too. That's where you belong. It's your child belong. Brother, me shine your eyes. Cause all this time on size. Welcome to reality. Cause ignorance is a sin. You have a big anomaly. I don't want to lie to you. that day. We don't want to lie to you. that day. We don't want to lie to you. The last day. Who says no chance? I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to lie to you. that day. We don't want to lie to you. That day. Brother, we don't want to lie to you. We don't want to die alone, the last day. We don't want to die alone, judgment day. We don't want to die alone, judgment day. I don't want to die alone, that great day. Okay, no second chance. I don't want to die no judgment day. We don't want to die no that day. We don't want to die no the last day. I don't want to die no judgment day, brother. We don't want to die no the grief day. We don't want to die. Kids, you have to leave now, okay? You have to go. Okay, stop. You have to go. Too fine without you around me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of miss you loads too. <laughs> Come here, let me just have you open. Two spoons. I mean, you eat with both hands. Oh, um, you know what happened? Um, well, one spoon actually fell down, and I couldn't be bothered to clean up, so I had to go to the kitchen to get another one. Can you imagine? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. So let me go and. Grab something for you to eat, okay? Honey, please, you have to wash. I'm fucked up, I'm hungry. I'll be right back. I'll just How give you fast, some cake right? Make it snap you or I eat you up. How oh, gosh. Hello. Yeah, good evening.
are you doing here? Where's my husband? <laughs> mm. I am your husband. I mean Bob. Where is he? Mm. What have you done to him? <laughs> Come back to me. I am your husband. <laughs> Oh, oh. Hello. 